Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. I'm going to show you how to create cool, repeatable backgrounds in Adobe Fireworks. Hopefully you can see this example that I did here, but I'm going to zoom in. You see a pattern starts at the top and it sort of fades into a black, dark gradient. Uh, basically, uh, these are these patterns are pretty popular in the design community and uh, or similar patterns and um, a lot of designers use them to enhance their websites and and uh, just you know add more depth to their web designs but so if you can create repeatable patterns for yourself you can do the same for your websites and web designs and things like that so I'm gonna show you how to create this these in Adobe Fireworks. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually go out and do a search on the internet for repeatable patterns, images. You can choose any one, um, any image, any repeatable, uh, you know, background. But I found this cool website called patterns.ava7.com. If you go there, and uh, you can actually you know browse a bunch of different patterns and actually preview them to see what they look like. Now what you want to do is when you preview you, these patterns, you don't want to really pay attention to the color because when we import these into Adobe Fireworks, um, we're going to change the colors and do all that stuff ourselves. It's be really easy. So, okay, let's look at this pattern here. It's a pretty cool honeycomb shape, whatever. So what I'm going to do is use this as our example. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this and then I'm going to show that in the folder and what I'll do is right click on that image and I'm gonna open this up in Adobe Fireworks alright so there's my image and uh, let's go over here and we're gonna create a canvas to set up our background let's do 900 by 600 alright and you wanna choose in your properties panel you wanna choose black as the background alright then you want to go over and grab a box the, the rectangle tool and what you want to do is just draw a box the same size as the your canvas so make sure it's 900 by 600 alright that's important and so have your box selected and what we're gonna do under the color section here we're just gonna go ahead and give it a gradient linear gradient and the with your box selected, you want to change the color to the top portion. You want that to be 333333. Three, 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 three. And the bottom portion, you want it to be black. Okay, so you have a slight gradient going from the 33 three color all the way to the black, which is 0000, zero, zero, zero hex value. All right, so with your box selected, you can go over here under where you see texture, select that option, and just choose other and go ahead and find the image that we just downloaded which was that honeycomb shape one and you're going to to choose that alright so now it's it's showing on your that that it's in there it's there but it looks a little ugly so what you want to do is you want to go over here and choose transparent as the option alright so now if you zoom in if I zoom in here you'll see the trans it, it creates a transparent for you so the dark section becomes you know muted or trans fully transparent and the lighter section of your gradient becomes noticeable a little bit noticeable so if you go over here and try to make make your top color lighter your honeycomb shape things would become uh, a little bit more noticeable all right so with that there what you want to do is go over here to the image that we opened up here's the here's the little background image that we opened up and take notice of the size here it's 45 pixels in width 26 pixels in height don't worry about the height but we want to take note of the width which is 45 so now what we're gonna do is we're going to select our box come over here under width and just do 45 alright so now our box just sort of uh, it, it's now 45 uh, pixels in width select that box and just do a com or alt shift and U and what it does it creates a highlight slice 
for that image. Alright, and over under optimize, make sure it's JPEG. And just do a right click on that slice. Do export. And just name your name your image. Uh, something, whatever. We'll just do background, pattern. Let's do number three because I had a couple in there as an example. So that being saved, go ahead over to your HTML file. And I'm going to just create a style here. And we're gonna do we're gonna add a style to the body. Background. Let's do URL. And let's choose background number three. Alright, so notice the syntax. URL in parentheses, the image path, and outside of the parentheses you want to add the color of the background. So we want to do black because looking at our background, the background fades in to a black transparency. So we want to choose black as our background. So pound zero 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 adds black to your background then you want to do top and we can do repeat we will repeat it on the the x-axis which is uh, going from left to right alright then just do a semicolon semicolon and uh, close that off and uh, you can look at the design so let me just save that you can look at the design here and you can notice the background pattern. Let me just go over to so go over to fireworks and here is the background. So you see that just you just created the the background pattern uh, in Adobe Fireworks and now what what it's done it's repeating the background from left to right and it's a seamless transition. Now the reason why your your image is actually repeating and it's only 600 pixels in height so the end part of the image is black and so we made our background color black so that as the background image stops the color of the background sort of blends that in and it continues all the way down so alright so hopefully that was helpful and you can sort of use this technique and uh, start creating different patterns for your web designs. All right, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com. Uh, leave comments and uh, follow me on YouTube if you're not. We'll talk soon. Bye.